Um, the next topic on the board, the Power Five conferences are discussing pushing back college football conference championship games to the next week after the week that they're supposed to be going on. So it would be the week of Army-Navy, the week of the Heisman Trophy, all that kind of stuff. So if that's the case, does the Heisman Trophy push back closer to Christmas? Like, how does this thing work? And the reason that they're discussing it, there are three conference commissioners that are considering it so far, and Greg Sankey openly discussed it with Paul Feinbaum because they don't expect this to be a clean season. I don't know of anybody that does. No, nobody does. But they, I think it's really smart. I, and what's crazy, though, is they're discussing how it would be better to start the season earlier. Yep. You don't want it to go later right. because, obviously, there are... I mean, there's a ton of schools already that are cutting off everything after November so that it doesn't get worse the colder it gets, right? Well, they just don't want it to... They don't want COVID and the flu to hit at the same time. I mean... The flu's coming no matter what. We can't stop it. Yeah. So if we don't have any type of solution for COVID, it's a bad situation if both of them are happening on campus at the same time. COVID seems to not really be affecting college-age kids. The flu wipes you out. What happens if you have the flu and you get COVID? It, your immune system's fighting like hell, I, you know. And see, and I don't know of anybody. Surely that's something that, like, you can – Surely you can get both at the same time. Well, yeah, they're but two completely we, different viruses. I mean, there's no reason you can't. So how did we not get that before? Like, how because did nobody? Flu, because it's not flu season. It hasn't been flu season all year yet. Flu season around here starts November, late fall. Like right, isn't it like November through? I thought yeah. it was November through like March. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't know that we really have a whole lot of flu season after November, December, January. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But there I could be wrong on that. Look, I'm not a doctor. Hell, I don't know. So Played one when I was little. That's it. There you go. There you go. Uh, so the idea here, Greg Sankey brought it up on Fine Bomb and all these others. Uh, Damien jumped back in. He said, Jay Cutler just showing his ex-wife he isn't lazy. That's why he's chasing chickens. Yeah. That's, that's but he gets is. to do fun stuff like this now that her ass is gone. Look, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I, if I you understand. ain't got nothing to do, yeah. go hang out in a tree with your neighbor. Drink that's some right. pops. Uh, Matt jumps in, fl- uh, said flu is still around, but temperature affects that virus. And, well, I mean, we think the temperature affects the coronavirus, but uh, we know really sunlight knows. does. They they know very little about this virus. They really believe sunlight does, does affect it, though. Well, I mean, we were all excited at one point, like a month ago, three weeks ago, about the fact that humidity could end up being, uh, like, not yeah. spreading this thing, right? So... Who knows? Who knows? But pushing it back seemed a little odd to me. It's smart because obviously you want an extra week in case, you know, this. You got to make up a game or two. If you got to make up a conference game, because that's the only thing they would ever make up. Yeah. Something that would actually affect the tiebreaker. Yep. Like, and it's if you miss two or three games, we're not going to make all of them up, but we'll make up the most important ones. So at what point do you actually cancel a game, you figure? Like, that's, that's where it gets crazy. Is and it, I don't know. And I'm, know, I'm glad I'm not going to be the one to make that decision. Is it and based on, like, is it based on if one team had a major outbreak and they couldn't field enough players, or is that just a forfeiture, or if it's both that teams? Lies, that's my is question, it, is are we going to have forfeitures? I mean, I, I would imagine we would have to at some, well, maybe not forfeiture. They would just cancel the game, I guess. But, that's, but no, I mean, if one team's healthy and another team's not, yeah. Come on, man. No, we, you're right. We, we stay healthy. Hey, so let me ask you this. Pat Forty brought this up on the Yahoo College uh, podcast. Okay. And, and they just, like, glanced over it real quickly. And I never even thought of this. How flexible are these teams and leagues going to be to where let's let's say the week of LSU-Bama, Bama's sick, LSU's healthy. Like, can we pick up the phone and be like, Who's got a bye week this week that wants a, that like missed a game early on? Like, can we schedule Louisville? Can we like obviously it won't be a conference game, but can we get a game in? Can you find two teams that are healthy and either on a bye or their opponent also had to cancel and just make a game up right there? I would, I would bet you can. I bet you're going to see something like that. I, I'm going to tell you I this, you I would be as flexible as hell with doing stuff like that because all these teams play on, they all have private planes. And if you, especially if you're in the power five or, yeah. or even G hell G five, even is playing, you know, traveling, you know, private charter. 
So well, especially, it, I mean, I, I, I bet you'd see a lot of regional games as opposed to that, but it all depends I'm fine on with regional, the situation. But, I mean, at the same thing, if you're, you don't need to, what's regional if you can be there in, in a three-hour plane ride? Well, what I'm saying is, you know, LSU would, I think you'd be more likely to see them play like Louisiana Tech or UL. Well, the problem is, is like if that. Louisiana Tech's opponent is healthy and Louisiana's healthy, then why would they cancel? They no, no, agreed, agreed. agreed. I'm, I'm just saying you're probably going to go that route first before you. I start would rather. Up I would rather than play another Power Five school. Oh, I agreed. I think everybody would. And but, I don't care about the plane ride. I don't care how far away it is because it's irrelevant to the situation when you're getting a private jet anyway. That's okay. You gotta. I mean, the, the world is a lot smaller place when you're talking about charter plane rides, okay? And if you're healthy, you're healthy. And if you're not, you're not. And if, if one team is healthy and the other one's not, search around the rest of the country. There's a really good chance that 10 or 12 schools might be looking for somebody to play. And, you know, and I just if don't you're not going to have a fans anyway. win situation. That's all. Yeah. I don't want it to turn into another pay for win situation. That's what I don't want. I want a big school loses their opponent against another big school. I don't want them to replace it with a nobody. Gotcha. You hear my dog squeaking that yes. toy. Yeah, we can hear it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, uh, Damien jumped in on YouTube, said, how the hell people get Ebola and swine flu in the stadiums? Uh, Matt said, Ebola is not a respiratory disorder. You have to be in physical contact with the person rather than just breathe in the droplets. Ebola is also much more deadly and symptoms present differently. Damien oh, yeah. said, you mean like soccer does with friendly games? I, yeah. Yeah. That'd be, but I don't know that it would be a friendly. Why the hell won't it count? It'll count on your no, record. I think, I think it needs to count. It just won't yeah. be a conference. And if you can make it, let's say it happens to be the same weekend that, that Tennessee plays Georgia and Georgia's sick and Alabama's sick. Well, shit, then Tennessee and LSU, let's find a place to play and play. Let's flip a coin and, and see who gets to host it. Let's say you're both supposed to be the home team or you're both supposed to be the road team. Flip a coin, winner of the head, coin toss. We're going to play this game. We got a conference game. Boom. I'm in. I, I like the idea. I, I just don't want to cancel a week of play because then you just don't – you want to you want to make up as little as possible. Yes, I, I think – so does that mean we don't get the Iron Bowl this year because one team – it might. It might. Yeah. Is that the end of the world? No. This is going to be a weird season. All I ask is all these people – be as flexible as possible. Everybody just be cool and let's try to get through it and make it look as normal as possible. But even if it looks weird and it's just goofy, who cares? It's fun. It's entertainment. It'll it make it entertaining. Is. This is, I'm expecting to see some teams that have like a nine and two record and others that might be five and one. That's and right. it's just going to be nuts. That's right. You just, That's there's, right. there's no telling how this is going to actually work out. Uh, but I'm here for the entertainment factor. Starting early, I will tell you, I do think it is wise to start early and finish late. That way you've got basically built in, if you start a week early and finish a week late, everybody already gets two bye weeks, right? Well, it, this year everybody only gets one. Last year was okay. a weird season. So, so then everybody would get three bye weeks, basically, if everybody's completely healthy. Yeah. You'd find you have three weeks that you can fit something in. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. So we, th- I, let's I just try to mitigate as many problems as you can. We let's don't know continue. Let's continue this conversation moving into 